नमस्कार शास्त्र मणित विश्वविद्याल आयोज्यम संस्कृत सप्ताह महोत्सव श्रुतिजाल मगण कार्यक्रम हार्दिक सुस्वागत व्याहरा ई वेलकम यू आल टू दीट वेबिनार सीरियस श्रुतिजाल मगण कंडक्टेड बै शास्त्र डीमड यूनिवर्सिटी स्कूल आफ सैशे डिपार्टमेंट आफ ओरियंटल स्टडी and research we welcome you all so swagata let us start this program with a vedic prayer om bhadram karne bhishrunu yama devaha bhadram pasye maksha bhirge jatraha sthirai rangai istushtu vagum sastanu bhi yashema devahi tayadayuhu swastina indro vridha shravaha स्वस्ति नूषा विश्व स्वस्तिनस्ताक्ष्यो अरिष्टनेमी स्वस्ति नो बृहस्पतिर्दा ओं शाति 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 सहनाद इदानीं अहम् वेणुगोपाल महोदयान अनुरुंधे एतते स्वागत भाषणं कुर्वन्तु इति आई कॉल अपॉन प्रोफेसर वेणुगोपालन सर टू गिव अ वेलकम स्पीच धन्यवादः बद्रीजी <coughs> नमस्कारः सर्वेभ्यः स्वागतम् अत्र भवतां समेशां अस्माकं श्रुतिजाल मार्गणस्य द्वितीय सत्रे द्वितीय वर्षे द्वितीय सत्रे वयम सर्वे समेता स्म अस्क्रमे समेतेभ्य श्रोतृभ्य वक्त इतरेभ्य सर्वेभ्य अभी अहम हाद स्वागत व्याहरा <coughs> प्रतिवर्ष इव अस्े संस्कृत सप्ताह महोत्सव सर्वत्र आभारत विदेशे अभी आचर्य से यदनुरोधन अस्माक शास्त्र मानित विश्वविद्याल द्वारा अभी संस्कृत सप्ताह महोत्सव सवैभव आचर्य से गत त्रिशत् दिनाकारभ्य नाम श्रावण पूर्णिमाया आरभ्य आमास नाम त्रिशत् दिनाक पर्यत सेप्टेबर मसशत् आगस्ट आरभ्य त्रिशत् सेप्टेबर पर्यत उचावश त्रिशत् दिन व्यापिन्या अत्र उपन्यास श्रृंखलायां द्वितीय सत्र अद क्रीयते अस्म अर्वेभ्य अहम पुनरेक स्वागत व्याहरा अद्यतन उपन्यासक अस्त डॉक्टर प्रोफेसर कार्तिकम महोदय एष चेन्नई मेड्रास् ईटी मध्ये बयोटेक्नालजी डिपार्टमेंट मध्ये प्रोफेसर रूपेण कार्यरत वर्त है अयम तो बेंगलूर इंडियन इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ सैंस तथा पी एच डी पद प्राप्तवान अस्त बिद प्राप्तवान अस्त त्र रिसर्च ग्रूप वर्क इन दिए आफ कंप्यूटेशनल सिस्टम बयालजी सह लिखित अस्त तस्टेल परचय अहम अस्माक वाट्सअप ग्रूप मध्ये सर्वेभ्य अहम विर्णवान अस्म कृपया तत्सव पठन अतः सह अभी तस् प्रोफेशनल परचय नच्छति तस्क मुखमस्त य अस्माक चलचिषु भाषा चलचि रजनीकांत मुखद पूर्वतन तो बाम्बे मध्य सह तो एक दादा अपरत्र सह मणिक आटो ड्रैवर यहाँ कार्तिक मुखद वर्त है एक मुखम त्र प्रोफेशनल मुखम अस्त सर्वे जन जानते अत्रना तो त्र बहु कदाचि आवश्यकता न सै पर अन्दक मुखमस्त यत्यंत समीचीन ज्योतिषास्त्र अस्त विशिष्य भारतीय ज्योतिषास्त्र उच्य है इंडियन अस्ट्रानमी त्र तैशिष्य बहु अस्त बहु त्र श्रम अधीतवान अस्त अतः ततः पंचांग से पिचय विषय अस्मा सह पंचांग विषय संपूर्णतया यावत्क्यम तवत् पिचाष्य अतः अस्माक कांची शंकर मठ से द्वारा 
वेदधर्मशास्त्र परिपाल सभा इति संस्था अस्त नईन्टीन फार्टि टू तह सा संस्था इधर अशीति वर्षेभ्य कार्य करोती यत्र प्रतिदिन पंचांग से वाट्सअप द्वारा दुर्गणित दुर्गणित पंचांग वाक्य पंचांग उभयमी प्रतिगण प्रतिदिन तिथि वार नक्षत्र योग कर्ण कीर्त्या नाड़ा काचित तिथिस्त एक योग से पुनः क्या पशा चेत तिदिन स्पृक् श्व भविष्य अमावस्या प्रथमा तिषु दिन व्याप्नोति तिथि तरी तिदिन स्पृक् बहुव विषय त्र अस्म पंचांग द्वारा अस्म ज्ञातव्य विषय सी तर्वान् विषया कामन महोदय अस्मभ्यं परचाष्यति तादृश व्यक्तिशेष अस्माक सुहृद कार्तिक महोदय अहम शास्त्र पक्षत मत्पक्षत हाद स्वागत व्याहृत कृपया बहुत उपन्यास आरभ्य अस्मान सर्वान आनंद सागरे मज्जयत सविनय सप्रेम सवात्सल्यम अहम अनुवंदे थैंक यू कार्ति वेलकम सर्वेभ्य नमस्कार संस्कृत किंचित जाना अतः आंग्लभाषा वादा शुक्लांबर्धन विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वन ध्याय सर्वशा सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यम अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुर परंपरा श्रुति स्मृति पुराण आने कर्णाने नमा भगवत्द शंकरोकशंकर आदिताय च सोमाय मंगलाय बुधाय गुरशुक्र शनिभ्य राहवे केतवे नम आरोग्यम प्रदा नो दिनक चंद्रो यशो नंदन भूतिम भूमिस्व सुधाशुतने प्रज्ञा गुर गौरव काव्य कोमलवाग्विलासमतल मंदोमत राहुर्बाहुर्बन विरोध शरण केतुत्कुलोन्नति सो जिस स्टार्टिंग विथ रेग्युर् प्रेयर टू लॉर्ड गणेश आचार्य परंपरा एंड अफकोर्स नवग्रह which is essentially the topic of today uh, i think uh, uh, venugopal and vande rambaga he made a reference to the two mukhams the unification between the two mukhams is what i would like to think about is uh, you know i am a computational scientist by training and uh, i like computation wherever it is be it in biology or be it in astronomy so that is my sort of interest and i must i always disclaim in the very talk na solla pesa aramikirte i give a disclaimer that uh, i am not an expert and an enthusiast and it's a lot of interest and i'm a learner <laughs> and i'm trying to figure out a lot of these uh, things i'm uh, and trying to see how modern uh, computation technology can be useful in aiding the observance of our ancient uh, traditions anushthanas and uh, so on so this is sort of where i'm uh, coming from um, i know this is uh, uh, being streamed on youtube uh, but i would like to interact also with the youtube uh, uh, participants so i'm going to show this for a while so you can uh, you can just uh, scan this or remember this code you can just go to slido.com and enter this code or just scan this qr code on your uh, phone the code is 9852922 i'll see if i can keep this on the side uh, somewhat uh, minimized at least for a little while till people join in and i hope to get quite a few questions via this so that it doesn't have to be a complete monologue where i am just uh, uh, going on and on and i would like to know what are the questions you have in mind about our panchangam and so on and uh, that is sort of where i would like to move ahead uh, but i think when i click this this is going to go away so but i can show that uh, from uh, time to time um, so what is panchanga it is more than a calendar or an almanac right it's a, it's a detailed reckoning of various astronomical events and uh, time keeping literally on a different plane uh, but a lot of it is about when to celebrate festival so when do you commemorate an event right so when do we celebrate independence day we celebrate it on uh, uh, august 15 should we celebrate it on the i think it was a krishna trayodashi on which uh, independence was uh, granted so should we celebrate it on that right so what is the more uh, you know of course you know being a very laukika thing it's everybody is more familiar with the uh, gregorian calendar now and august 15 becomes a convenient date of observance 
but uh, whereas you know it is not the same for say shri ramanavami or uh, krishna janmashtami and there are very interesting challenges and controversies and uh, it's uh, nice to think about this where all this uh, starts from so if you see most of the recent civilizations and religions have also developed uh, their own calendar and all this challenge comes from this very interesting number the the solar year is about 365.25 days i think all of us know that roughly little little less than 0.25 and that is the, that is the source of all the problem it was just perfectly 365 <laughs> life would have been so much easier for everyone so time keeping has been a big challenge especially leap years and all the the basic goal of a panchanga or calendar you know at a very you know simplistic level is that we want syncing with the seasons syncing with the equinoxes right so when uh, equinox currently happens around march 23rd and we have the um, autumnal equinox coming up in a, in a few days right so september 23rd or whatever so these have to occur at roughly the same time each year on, on your calendar whatever date your calendar says right if it is saying september 23rd you want to keep it close to september uh, 23rd as long as possible so these leap days this 29th of february that comes in once in four years but not once in 100 years but once in 400 years basically tries to bring this 365.24 whatever whatever that fraction is uh, what is uh, behind that so the julian calendar which is what uh, sort of one of the basis of what we use today was started in 46 uh, uh, 46 years before the common era and the gregorian calendar was instituted by pope gregory the 13th in february 1582 and uh, britain being britain they didn't uh, pick it up immediately they picked it up uh, uh, several uh, centuries later and if you see the gregorian calendar lacks dates 5 to 14 of october 1582 so after october 14th uh, october 4th the next date was october 15th 1582 so they decided to delete 10 days to bring it a little more in sync with the equinoxes right so these kinds of uh, you know chopping and changing had to be done to ensure that the basic goal always has been that bring it as close to the equinoxes as possible in fact i believe the ancient egyptians used to regard a year what we call a samvatsaram as um, the time between two floodings of the nile <laughs> so so everybody had different points of time to reckon to basically calculate the much larger time so we have had a much longer vision of time and if you see taitri aranyakam it has this very nice uh, passage which says nadiva prabhavat kachit and uh, so on and uh, the meaning is just beautiful it says consider a river fo- uh, flowing from a perennial source many other smaller rivers flow into her but she is broad and doesn't stop and many sec- so likewise many sections of time flow into samvatsara or the kala devata small and large they flow into him and is large conjoined with them and it doesn't stop and this is the nature of samvatsara or time practically is seen as the year having small sections all the way up till ghati vighati which are like much much uh, smaller numbers so just again for people uh, so this is the place where you can start posting questions comments whatever is it that you would like just go to slido.com and you can put this number or if you scan this qr code you'll get uh, some other link that you can join but basically Uh, i have it open on my uh, screen uh, on the other side so i'll be able to see the questions and i can give you almost uh, live answers uh, right so that will be make it more interactive so getting back what there are very very small sections of time like kala kashta muhurta and so on muhurta is like 15 in a day but kala kashta and all are like much 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 minute divisions of time there are uh, you know divisions of time that are smaller than a second or even uh, fractions of a second and so on and the northward and southward movement of the sun adityah shanmaso dakshinena yeti shad uttarayana so there is uttarayanam for 6 months and dakshinayanam for 6 uh, months currently we are in dakshinayanam uh, but it's very interestingly it did not start at the when adi masam started but a little uh, before that so these are things that uh, you know we'll try to discuss if we find time but uh, jyotish shastra is essentially elaborates on all these divisions of time and provides a detailed framework to determine all of these and do various anushthanams on this basis so kala vidhana shastram is jyotisham okay i already got useful feedback let me slow down a little uh-huh. so what day is it today so today is um, uh, you know it's uh, this is the ongoing kali year of uh, 5125 5124 years of kali are over and it is uh, simha masam 
uh, or uh, Avani Masam, as we say in Tamil. And it's the 28th day of Avani Masam, according to Drigganita Panchangam. And I think it's perhaps the 27th day, according to the Vakiganita Panchangam. We'll talk about this in a moment. But we say, we just don't, uh, we just don't say September 13, 2023. We say Adhyap Namanhadi Aparadhe, Shweta Varaha Kalpe, Vaivasutaman Mantare, etc., etc., so on. You know, Desha Kala, so this is the Desha part. Right? And we say Shali Vahana Shakade, Asmin Vartabane, Vyavaharikanam, Prabhavadi Nam, Shatyaha Sambatsara Nam, Adhye, Shobhana Nam, Sambatsare. So Shobhana or Shobhakrit uh, is the name of the current uh, uh, year. So this is a 60 year uh, cycle and uh, so on. Dakshinayane, this is the Ayanam, in that it's, we are in the Varusharato. Varusharato, Simha Mase, or you know, people will also say Shravana Mase uh, on basis of lunar months. This is a solar month. We will talk about all this in a little uh, detail. Krishna Pakshe, Chaturdashyam, Shubhadito, Soumya Vasara, Yuktayam, Magha Nakshatra, Yuktayam, Siddha Yoga Yuktayam, Bhadra Karana until you know, 10 minutes before. Currently, Shapini Karana is, uh, is ongoing. Yuktayam. And Amanguna Visheshan Vishit Tayam Asyam Chaturdashyam is how some of you may have done Sankalpa earlier today. Right? And But this says so many more things. It says that uh, some 155 trillion years uh, or more have passed in the life of the present Brahma. So this already acknowledges our insignificance in the, in the larger scheme of uh, things, both in terms of place and time. And these are like very, very interesting to think about, especially, you know, if you tell your children, they will be really amazed by uh, these kinds of uh, things. And there are different uh, schools of reckoning a year, right? So apart from the Nile school of uh, reckoning for Egyptians, we have other schools of reckoning, which is Sauramana, based on the sun, the solar position. For instance, um, we, April 14th, as we call it, April 14th, usually we celebrate Varsha Parabar. So that is when... Uh, Sur, uh, Suryan uh, trans, uh, transits into Mesha Rashi. It's Mesha Sankranti. So when Mesha Sankramanam happens, so Mesha is one of the Rashis, one of the 12 Rashis. So when Surya transits from Meena into Mesha, uh, the new year begins. At that dot, new year begins. Okay, it's it's on the, after the first sunrise, after this transition, the new year begins or whatever, right? So there are various uh, uh, you know, nuances there. And there is a Chandramana reckoning, which is uh, based on solar, which is when, uh, you know, uh, this is the start of the Chaitra Masa. Uh, so the Masa gets its name Chaitra based on the solar month in which uh, the Amavasya happened and all of that. So let's not get into all of that. But you will often, you will perhaps remember that this Chaitra Amavasya, uh, the day after uh, the, uh, the last Palguna Amavasya is Chaitra Shukla Prachama. That is where Chaitra Shukla Prachama is where the... Uh, Telugu New Year, as we call it often, uh, colloquially, or Ugadi, as we call it, is the um, um, it is the New Year that is based on the Chandramana tradition. There is also Nakshatramana, Barhaspatyamana, which is uh, widely used in the north, especially for just reckoning the name um, of the year. And there is also Savanamana, which is just a 30-day month and uh, those, those kinds of things. They have 360 days a year and uh, things like that. So there are many such um, uh, reckonings, but the most relevant or the most widely used and uh, or those that impact us very readily in our lives are the Sauramana and the Chandramana. And there are different schools of computation, right? This is a very, uh, very interesting topic, things that people are passionate about, um, sometimes fanatical about and so on. So there is Vakya Ganita, which is based on... Uh, this uh, really great uh, uh, person called uh, Vararuchi, who composed these uh, Vakyas. Uh, these Vakyas are beautiful mnemonics that capture various astronomical qu quantities. Let me just uh, simplify it in that fashion. There is Drigganita, which is based on observational astronomy, because there is uh, a lot of um, you know Vakyas which also say that this Driptulyata is important. And you can't calculate that it is, uh, you know, Trayodashi today when it is actually Chaturdashi. And if the eclipse is starting now, you can't say that the eclipse is starting after 15 minutes or it uh, got over uh, half an hour back. Okay. So this uh, alignment with what is visible through a telescope to the naked eye is very important. And this is what is uh, the, the philosophy, the tenet of Driptulyata or Dhrigganitam. And our... Uh, uh, the Sri Kanchikamakoti uh, Pitam follows the, the, the Drip Kanita Padhati, 
from 1877. So this is, uh, you can imagine how, how much, uh, how many years before this uh, happened, uh, nearly 150 years before. This was, uh, I know, under when the, during the 65th Shankaracharya's uh, uh, period. So the current uh, Pita Dhipati, he is the 70th Shankaracharya of the Kanji Kamakoti Pita. So Vararuchi's Vakyas, but most importantly, Vararuchi's Vakyas and uh, there are other texts such as Surya Siddhanta, is a testimony to the, <laughs> our, the prowess of our ancient Indians, right? We all know about uh, Ramanujan, but uh, you know, there are so many other uh, very uh, uh, fantastic uh, mathematicians who existed before this and who uh, computed these, uh, you know, well before, uh, uh, you know, Kepler and uh, the things like that, I must say. Because, uh, and um, it is not as though that, you know, we, uh, we did not uh, know that the, uh, you know, sun goes, the moon, uh, the earth goes around the sun. It is, you know, from a point of reference, which is, you know, commonly used in physics, we use a, a, a geocentric viewpoint, right? So, for, for me, I see where the sun is today, right? So, sun is in this corner today, it is in that corner after a few months. Right? I see the position of the sun, the position of the moon. Right? They go around, the moon goes around the earth, the earth goes around the sun and without knowing this logic, I think it is nigh impossible to compute the accurate positions of the sun as visible from the earth or the moon as visible from the earth and the velocity of the moon, the velocity of the sun, these are all, these are in fact the most basic quantities that are required for computing any panchanga. You need to know the velocities uh, and you need to know the uh, positions. In almost everything, your tithi or nakshatram, all of these angas, as we will talk about in a moment, are all dependent on these basic quantities. And But today, Drick computations have been made even easier. There are so many tables that lots of scholars have published over the years. They've done observations. There are observatories. And you know, some of you may have seen uh, Jantar Mantar in various uh, places. So all these are observatories to make some of these uh, measurements of various astronomical quantities and uh, uh, things like that. But you know, it's also very convenient because we have the Indian government or the uh, NASA, ISRO, all of these people publish these tables of what is the position of the sun today, tomorrow, day after, moon today, tomorrow, day after, uh, or even, you know, if there are software tools that will let you interpolate between that. So the pace of the sun might be X uh, right now. It might be X plus some small thing tomorrow, but it be X plus an even smaller thing after a few hours. Right? So the, the, the minute variations in the speed of the sun and all of that from time to time are all captured in these, um, uh, in these uh, tables. So, but this has made uh, democratized Panchanga calculation. So a novice like me can easily jump in, write some few lines of code and start computing uh, what is the tithi and ultimately when is Ekadashi or the things like that. Right? So this is where uh, all <laughs> it all started for me. And I've really enjoyed, uh, I've probably been writing some of these codes for nearly 15 years now. And um, it, it, it makes things uh, very easy. And of course, you know, you have to verify this against uh, you know, what is predicted, from, uh, what is said from others. And most important thing you can verify by seeing. Drip Tulyata is the most uh, important uh, aspect. So... <clears throat> So let's look at the, uh, the five angas or the limbs of the panchanga. So what are these? So th these are tithi, vasara, nakshatram, yoga, and karanam. And uh, so tithi is nothing but uh, we will go into all these uh, details. So tithi is uh, based on the, the face of the moon and so on. Vasara, you all know, is the day. Uh, nakshatra is the asterism, uh, right? You can see it based on various constellations that are up in the... Uh, sky. Uh, yoga is uh, basically a conjoining of uh, uh, two things. So I'll, now, I'll I'll talk about it in little detail when you go on. And Karanam is essentially a half tithi. So now it is uh, Shakuni Karanam, which means that we are very close to uh, Amavasya. So the Chaturdashi is going to get over and tomorrow is uh, Amavasya. But there are also spiritual benefits uh, beyond mapping the sky for us. The, knowing the daily panchanga has this uh, beautiful this, uh, shloka beautifully captures. Tithesha Shriyamapnodi, Vara Dayushya Vardhanam, Akshatra Dharate Papam, Yoga Droga Nivaranam, Karanat Karya Siddhisya, Panchanga Phalamuttamam, Etesham Shravanan Nityam, uh, Ganga Snana Phalam Labed. So, uh, so you, you, uh, you know, there is, uh, you know, Shri is obtained. Uh, Shri has, uh, I, you know, these are untranslatables, as we must all remember, <laughs> going from Sanskritam to 
இங்கிலீஷ் ஸ்ரீயம் வாராது ஆயுஷ்ய வர்தனம் யூ கெட் லாங்கர் லைஃப் நக்ஷத்ராத்து ஹரதே பாப்பம் நோயிங் த நக்ஷத்ரா இட் அப்சர்வ்ஸ் யூ ஆஃப் பாப்பா அண்ட் யோகா ரோக நிவாரணம் காங்கர்ஸ் டிசீஸ் கரணா காரிய சித்தி சீம்ஸ் வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் நோயிங் த கரணா யூ நோ யூ கெட் விக்ட்ரி இன் யார் அண்டர்டேக்கிங்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் உத்தம பலம் ஆஃப் த பஞ்சாங்க பட்டணம் ஏதேஷாம் ஸ்ரவணா நித்தியம் பை லிசனிங் டு ஆல் திஸ் எவ்ரி டே சேயிங் ஆல் திஸ் எவ்ரி டே யூ கெட் கங்கா ஸ்நான துல்லிய பலம் So, which is uh, nice. So, one more uh, reason to do this every day in the morning, uh, whenever every day, and uh, remember these things. Uh, there is a very interesting uh, question. So, do you mean to say uh, on the chat? I think everybody can see it. You can also vote these questions up or uh, up. So, you want, uh, when there are more questions, you can uh, pick which one to answer. So, let me just quickly show this. Uh, so, um, so, this is the uh, Slido, 9852922. uh right so you can just uh, add in your uh, questions here so just go to slido.com and click uh, type in 9852922 okay so tithi is based on the phase of, okay so going back to the question the question asks is should i follow ekadashi in india when i'm in canada no uh, i think <laughs> i will go a step ahead and say you have to follow ekadashi in bangalore when it is ekadashi in bangalore and ekadashi in uh, uh chennai when it is ekadashi in chennai and i will show you at the end of my talk there is a day on which ekadashi in chennai and bangalore will be same on 99% of the days uh, so the, the thing is tithi is same all over the uh, earth but the observations are typically connected to sunrise and this is the source of all this variation that we talk about uh, so i will uh, come back to it after maybe a little bit of introduction because some of the basic concepts have to be uh, spoken about before i can go into the uh, other uh, uh, concepts so nice i see some questions being uploaded and, uh, and, and so on so it is the relative so the tithi is easy to compute it is the relative difference in the position of sun and the moon so what is the um, um, uh, you know position of the sun and what is the position of the uh, moon right so you all was have known from popular things that you know sun and moon come together on amavasya of course even from science you know that's why you, know, you really can't see the moon and uh, uh, so on and so that is when the longitudes of both as observed from the earth are same so that is the point of amavasya okay and uh, when they are exactly uh, 180 degrees apart it is purnima pournami okay um, so vasaraha this is very interesting this is connected to several horas uh, and uh, so on which is in fact you know uh, on the basis of the speeds of the different uh, uh, the grahas the fastest being shani and the slow uh, the slowest being shani and the fastest being uh, uh, chandra and uh, so on bhanavasara it is um, uh, it is um, surya hora at sunrise on somavasara it is uh, whatever somahora or chandrahora at uh, sunrise and uh, so on so these are the seven uh, vasaras and uh, i think you know uh, everybody remembers what is the vasara but interestingly the va- the the day starts at sunrise and ends at the next sunrise so we don't have this this 12 o'clock midnight and all of those things are not very relevant to uh, any of the shastriya observations and so on so they are obviously very helpful like because you need a standard to for these measures uh, i i believe that in the olden days people used to just look at the sky and uh, you know compute the gatika and say that that is how you know the janma jatakas and all were uh, computed and uh, so on so very very interesting right? but today we all rely on a on a clock on a digital clock that that is synced with the internet time so you have accurate indian standard time on your uh, mobile phones which you can <laughs> go by and according to that we said till 1536 today was um, um, one karana and then it was uh, bhadra karana then it was shakuni karana from 1536 onwards okay but uh, a lot of the computations happen uh, with, re- with respect to sunrise and uh, sunset and of course the next sunrise so i will go into all this in a little bit more detail later on but remember that our day starts at sunrise so that is how your panchangas are all written your panchanga will say how much after sunrise is a particular nakshatra present or a tithi present and so on so they will write some 2 20 It means like for two ghatikas and 20 vighatikas after sunrise so that is you know 160th of a day and 160th of that 13600th uh, of the day 
<laughs> is that um, uh, your ghatika and uh, vighatika. So it's all base 60. And nakshatras, um, many of you may be familiar, Ashwini, Bharani, Kritika, Rohini, and uh, so on. And uh, this is purely computed from the position of the moon, uh, right? From the what is called the Sayana position of the moon. Uh, you, 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 you basically, uh, sorry, the, the Nirayana position of the moon, you, you, there is some, there is uh, something known as uh, Ayanamsha. I'll, I'll see if I can get into it at some point of time, or we can do it offline, or maybe another talk sometime. So these are the asterisms the moon transits by. Uh, so it, it goes through all of this typically in within a month, right? So the lunar month is roughly 29 days and each of these nakshatras will be there for some, some time in that, right? So maybe close to 20 hours to 30, 20 to 20, 30 hours or something like that. And they are equally distributed across the 12 rashis. So you have 27 nakshatras across 12. So 27 by 12 will be like what? 2.25. And so, so two and a quarter nakshatras are for each Rashi. And there are 108 Padas. So the first quarter first Pada of um, your uh, third Nakshatra, Kritika, is in Mesha Rashi. Right? That's how this uh, goes. And the yoga is computed from the sum of position of moon and sun. Uh, and uh, in general, this yoga means a combination. So uh, in fact, I don't know how many of you are that familiar with Vishkamba Preeti Yoga. Uh, you are only, everybody is familiar with the 23rd Yoga, which is Shubha Yoga, Shubha Karana. <laughs> right? So in uh, many times during Sankalpa, we just comfortably say Shubha Yoga, Shubha Karana. So like a broken clock, we are correct one of the days in a month uh, where uh, we say that it is uh, Shubha Yoga. Uh, there is no Karana and title Shubha, unfortunately. Uh, but essentially, Yoga is a, is a combination of certain things. Like Vyati Pata is a very important Yoga, especially when it occurs on a Sunday and things like that. So, and it's also, there are people who perform the Shraddhas on Gati Pata and Vaidriti and uh, things like that. And uh, Amrita Yogas are very common. So you must have heard of Siddha Yoga or Amrita Yoga, Makara Yoga and things like that. So these Yogas are basically uh, weekday nakshatra combinations. So Ashwini on Sunday will be a particular Yoga. Bharani on Sunday will be a, a probably a different Yoga and things like that. And these are Karanas. So Karanas are basically half Tithis. So your Shukla Prathama, so in Shukla Paksha, Prathama Tithi, first half is called Kinstukna. So it's just coming in a, in a, in a day and a half. The second half will be Baba. And then it is Balava, Kaulavam, Taitilam, Garaja, Banija, Bhadra, and this, the seventh cycle. So you see Bhavam again coming here. Balam, Balam Kaulavam, Taitilam, Garaja, Banija, Bhadra, Bhavam again. So these keep cycling all the way until the end of Krishna Paksha, where today, currently we are in Shatini Karana because Amavasya is approaching, where we have Chatushpat and Nagavan as the two Karanas. So there are 60 Karanas because there are 30 Tithis, two Pakshas, 15 Tithis, 2 into 15, 30, and every half Tithi is one Karana. So that is a total of 60 Karanas. Okay. And um, you may require to... Remember these kinds of uh, things because you are, um, Panchanga will just say Vani or something like that. And so you should know that is uh, Vanija or it will say Taitu, which means it is, you have to remember that it is Taitulam or Taitilam. There are variations. But so you need to know these observations also, right? And worse observations like Chasi means Chaturdashi and things like that. So all of these things, uh, you have to train uh, people to know them. Of course, today you can just look up some WhatsApp messages. Uh, Sri Venugopalanji was also mentioning. So these are forwarded on multiple groups. So you can look up uh, uh, those as well. So And then there are masas. So masas are reckoned in different ways. So Saura Masa, which is solar month, which is roughly 29 to 32 solar days. So because the sun has an apparent elliptical <laughs> geocentric, when we observe the sun, you, it has an apparent elliptical orbit around the earth. Right? And it is therefore you know, faster in some parts of the ellipse and slower in some parts of the uh, ellipse, essentially, right? On, uh, from that perspective. So you will see that there are some months that are very short, like uh, Margari or Thai will be fairly short, Dhanur uh, Masa or, uh, 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 you know, or Makara Masa. Whereas uh, there are months like Vrishabha um, uh, Masa or things like that will be very long, like 32 days and so on. Chandra Masa is like you know, fixed. So it's roughly 29.53. So, uh, uh, solar days. So it translates to about 354 days a year. And this is very useful rule of thumb for you. 
so so if uh, ramanavami happened on uh, so janmashtami happened when it happened few days ago no it happened on what uh, 6th 6th wednesday so 6th september next year it will roughly happen 11 days before so you have 365 days in the year um or if we want to think with the gregorian so maybe 366 right so subtract 12 days most likely janmashtami will be 12 days uh, from before uh, 6th september which is going to be 25th of august next year because it is this 354 is what roughly they will uh, invariably be plus or minus one because you have to check for ashtami in the night or rohini in the in the uh, in the night or day depending upon the tradition and so on there are so many different uh, traditions so the masa ends on amavasya or purnima depending upon um, it's called purnima or amanta so the amanta is very famous and popular in uh, south india whereas purnima is more common in uh, north india there is also adhika masa we just had an adhika shravana masa right now because all these names get their name all these months get their name from the solar month where the amavasya happens so in the previous adi masam we had two amavasyas right so the first amavasya was attached to adhika shravana masa and the second amavasya was as attached to nija shravana masa or just plain shravana masa as we call it which is ongoing now and it's going to get over and bhadrapada masa is going to start day after tomorrow and there is also a tropical month or ritu masa i think i will skip this for uh, uh, simplicity and brevity right now but we can uh, come to that at some other point of time and festivals are reckoned based on different months mostly uh, in, uh, lunar even though you know we are all we follow a solar calendar most of the festivals are lunar based so chaitra shukla navami is ram navami ashvayat shukla navami is saraswati puja bhadrapada shukla chaturthi is vinayaka chaturthi uh, shravana krishna ashtami is janmashtami and so on and so forth right and magha shukla saptami is rath saptami makara sankranti is when uh, sun transits into makara that is completely solar based has nothing to do with the moon at all in a sense okay so what are the solar months they are named after the rashis whenever the month uh, whenever the sun jumps into that moves into that rashi so mesha vrishab mithuna kataka simha kanya all of these right so or uh, as uh, in tamil we say chitra vega siyani adi avani and so on and uh, the chandra um, uh, months are named after the nakshatra on which the full moon occurs in the month and typically this this sinks every every few years there is an interesting side story to that as well so there is chaitra vaishakha because uh, on in vaishakha masa on vishakha nakshatra you will have the full moon right so in the upcoming um, bhadrapada masa you will have the full moon on the purva bhadrapada when moon is in the uh, in the purva bhadrapada constellation so if somebody is asking me for the code let me just fire that up uh, here it is uh, 9852922 this little too small i guess Yeah, nine eight five two nine two two. Let me make it larger. Nine eight five two nine two two. So please join slido dot com, and uh, I'd be happy to see more questions. I will answer the questions. I have. I am seeing the questions. I will again. These are you know referred to in the uh, Vedas, El uh, Madhushama, Dvashya, Vasantika, Brutu, and uh, uh, things like that. I will just skip some of these now for uh, simplicity and go into some of the time divisions. These are very interesting. Well, first is Ahura Atram or a day. What is a day? Starts at sunrise, ends at the next sunrise, which may be slightly before or slightly after today's sunrise. So a day is never twenty-four hours for us. <laughs> okay, but what we do is we take this. part of the day and then divide into so many different pieces and all of these have names and uh, you know very important connotations for festival observances and so on so yama is one fourth of either the day time or the night time and day times are sunrise to sunset is divided now it really doesn't matter because your uh, today for me sunrise was at uh, 6:01 am and i think sunset will be at uh, 6:08 pm so there is very close because on on june 20 on september 23 it will be at 601 and 601 uh, exactly 20 12 hours not exactly very very nearly equinox you know ahuratra are both uh, equal 
uh, right? Um, both the ahas part and the ratri part are uh, equal. And Murta is one fifteenth of the night or daytime. I have deliberately read night day night day because you know it's it's not day and night, right? So it is just the night part or just the day part. Ghatika is one thirtieth or half of a muhurta. Palam or Vighatika is one sixtieth of a ghatika. It's twenty four seconds. That's already a smallish number. We also have Vipala, which is um, point four seconds roughly, or even smaller <laughs> when the days are smaller and so on. Okay. So some divisions. So when you divide the day into five parts, you have Pratah Kala, then Sangava Kala, Madhyana Kala, Aparanha Kala, and Sayana Kala. Right? So currently we are closing in on the Sayana Kala. Right? So, so this is, all these are written in Ghatikas. So this is essentially one-fifth of the time from sunrise to sunset. Right? And this is the second uh, one by fifth part of the day from sunrise to sunset. So, for convenience, if it is 6 a.m. sunrise, 6 p.m. sunrise, which happens probably nowhere in India on no, <laughs> on no day, or maybe on some, some day on some place on one day, because Chennai it is 6 01 and 6 01 day after tomorrow. I'm sure if you go a little east of that, you might find uh, <laughs> 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. So then 6 o'clock is uh, Pratakala, 8.24 is Sangava Kala, 10.48 is uh, Madhyana Kala, uh, 13, whatever, 12 is Aparana Kala and so on. Right? So that's how these things uh, go. And uh, Brahma Muhurta is 56 to 58. Right? So, so, you, so because it's 56 to 58, you have to worry about yesterday's sunset and today's sunrise. So that part has to be divided into 30 pieces. And the 30... The 30 part is already over for the uh, for at sunset. So from sunset, 31, 32 on, onwards, uh, the uh, the Ghatika start. That will be and um, and basically um, uh, on, on that basis, so several of these competitions. Are done. So for example, the what we call is Sandhya Samayam. Sandhya Samayam is uh, either 29 to uh, uh, 30 or 59 to 60. Right? The Sandhya Kala is a little longer, right? but this is one of the things. So, in both Ghatikas are typically called Sandhya Kala. Pradosha Kala is 30 to 33, 45. So, this is there every day. So, Pradosha Vratam is different. So, that means that Trayodashi is there at sunset or there are various rules and so on. And that is Dinanta, which is usually used to calculate uh, various types of Ashochams and things like that according to Shastras. Right? So, sometimes there is a, a three-day Ashocham or a ten-day Ashocham and things like that. So, this is 48, 45, roughly comes around 120, 130 p.m., depending upon sunrise and sunset. Rahu Kala is for 3.75 Ghatikas, right? So, 3 Ghatikas and 45 Ghatikas, 3.75, based on sunrise and sunset. So, you can't say this, as we always say, Monday, this Rahu Kala is incorrect. You, this is something that we have to all imbibe. <laughs> so, it is convenient to remember that, but difficult to calculate. So, not, uh, either get used to the calculation, which is not too difficult. Uh, there are so many people who do this uh, math of 60 very fast. Uh, I know many people like that. But um, but remember that all times are relative to length of the day or night. So morning uh, things are different. Evening things are different. Morning gatikas are slightly different from evening gatikas. Yeah. So... So time is so important and time is the basis of all actions. And why do we stress so much about them? Even our Shankaracharya Swami, he says that uh, Panchanga is very important to pull people to do Anushthanas and things like that. You should say this Pratham is there, that Pratham is there, things like that. People know a little bit more about that, read some, some more interesting stories. There are Purana stories and things like that. Right? So all of those things will ultimately give you a more wider knowledge of all these uh, observances and uh, um, you know all of us have different tastes and different inclinations and different abilities and we can always find our path to wherever we want to go to um, and actions executed at the proper time bear more fruit um, and in the cyclic rotation of time there are bad combinations as well as good combinations so it is up to us to uh, you know utilize these uh, as you know people say the, the grahas don't cause, you know, it's not, it's, only, it's not causation, but it is correlation. So people have, rishis have observed these correlations over uh, uh, millennia and have written down these uh, shastras. So, so graha are the, they are suchakaha, natu karaka. So they do not um, uh, cause various things, you know, they don't cause, uh, 
you know illnesses or covid or whatever but you know <laughs> there are uh, uh, there are times there are coincidental phenomena where these things typically have been seen to occur okay? it's just a, it's a coincidence a correlation but you know it is so we, you just you know when the going is stuff you know what to avoid what to stay safe or uh, whatever you know those kinds of things and so the, the sages who knew the subtle nature of time have done us a great favor by telling us about this via various uh, shastras and many punya kalas you may have heard of bhoma ashwini or bhanu saptami is just sunday coming on a saptami or this is on ashwini coming on a tuesday and uh, some very rare punya kalas like ardhodaya and uh, and various other granadi punya kalas and uh, so on so so now let's just do some example festivals you know the tricks or the challenges in their computation and i want to really emphasize the fact that observances will change from one place to another you they may be just like few kilometers apart but when sunrise changes observations can change okay there are elaborate rules for reckoning various festivals so ramanavami for example they will there will be rules which say that it should be in the madhyana what happens if it is in the madhyana on two days should we take the first day or should we take the second day is the sambandha with punarvasu important or not and there are different traditions uh, temples will do it on one day all these are see, and that, that is the beauty of our uh, sanatana dharma right so there are so many different traditions and uh, each temple will continue to follow that tradition which has been ex existing for a long long time that's it right so and all these traditions are typically reflected in our uh, panchanga they say this pancharatra shri jayanti is on this day and shri jayanti uh, plane is on the other day krita janmashtami is on the same or previous day all of these are reflected in all our uh, panchangas ekadashi vratam has again uh, elaborate rules but many of these rules um, can be codified and doing that makes it very easy to compute panchangas for various locations right so you can compute panchangas for canada as uh, uh, professor raghunathan on, uh, on the call was asking and you know so many other uh, places you can uh, uh, you can readily compute based on the sunrise sunset of that particular place so there are rules right so if ekadashi is present at sunrise you can observe ekadashi if it is present on two sunrises it moves to the next day uh, if it is not present on any sunrise then what should you do all these rules exist so the sunrise becomes a very defining factor and that is why typically somewhat counterintuitively western time is behind indian time right so thursday morning comes in the west before after thursday morning comes in india right but the thing is today you may not have had ekadashi at sunrise but by the time sunrise is in the west in canada ekadashi might have started so which means it is ekadashi vratham for them today right uh, meaning like uh, on thursday whereas for us it will be on friday so these kinds of slightly counterintuitive things happen but once you stare at it for a little while i don't think there is any contradiction at all it becomes quite uh, obvious and sunrise time has a major role in determining every festival literally so this is very very important which is why there is a lot of halabalu about having location specific panchangas and in vakya ganita this has not been the case until very recently when shri varani shastrikal from kanchimattam uh, released the astika dharma panchanga which has this uh, deshantara samskara which which does location specific addition deletion to the uh, thing this is possible in other panchangas also but i don't think anybody has come any normal person like us is competent to do these things even with a table at hand maybe if there is an example given it's possible but even so all you can find out is when the nakshatra ends for you uh, it is very difficult to find out if uh, uh, shri jayanti has changed because that nakshatra has changed and that has to be left to the panchanga kartas the uh, and the, in fact not even the panchanga kartas they rely on the expertise of the various uh, dharma shastra experts who come to various uh, panchanga sada uh, uh, you know sammelanas which happen uh, every year in different places right so in north they do something in tirupati they do something in kanchimatha something happens etc so so location specific panchanga is a must okay otherwise the ending so although the ending times of if you use ist life is easy right so today 1536 um, shakuni karana started all over the world but was it before sunrise after sunrise 1536 at some place sun didn't rise in, in san francisco the time at that point of time was uh, 3 am uh, on thursday uh, on whatever on uh, wednesday so the sun hasn't risen yet 
uh, there. Okay. And all of these things capture the same celestial event. Right? So when we say Amavasya, it means the point at which sun and moon, there's only one sun, one moon, and this is something that various Vidwans and experts have been saying for a long time. You have only one sun, one moon. Why do you have different reckonings and so on? Which is where the Dhritulita becomes very important. And you will see more debate and discussion about that. Uh, but we have very interesting Vinayaks will be coming up over the next few days. Uh, my holiday also got changed from 19th to 18th. And uh, although I will be celebrating it on uh, 19th in Dhritulia fashion. Uh, many a time, as I said, the festivals in US must be celebrated a day before they are in India. So this is uh, sort of counterintuitive. But I'll tell you, show you something a little bit more interesting. And that is this um, map of a particular uh, uh, festival. This was uh, Ajay Ekadashi last August. And if you see, you have this interesting line that passes, I think, between Chennai and Bengaluru. So Chennai had to observe it on a different day compared to Bengaluru. Because, uh, and this line, if you see, the slope of this line, for those that are mathematically inclined, is, is you know, very, is very similar to the slope of what is called the terminator of the, the day-night map. So, you may have seen day-night maps like this. So, those of you who do flight travels might have, uh, so if you see currently the day-night map is like nearly straight because you are nearing the equinox. But when you go towards uh, December, I am not able to drag this currently, but basically when you go far away in December, this will become much, much different. So you will have, and here you can see the slope, right? So every place on the left of this line must, uh, must uh, uh, observe Ekadashi Viratam uh, according to Shastram <laughs> on a different day compared to this. So this includes Canada as well. Right? So I, I, uh, we typically plot this uh, for Bharat Desham from, you know, I think 8 to the 32 uh, latitudes, but you can, you know, it's easy to compute it uh, beyond that as well. So sometimes occasionally when people have requested uh, these kinds of computations we have done. And so you can see, so if somebody is in Canada, they will also follow, in fact, they'll follow Ekasi in the same day as Bengaluru. So these lines, when they occur outside India, it's very uh, convenient for us to understand, that, oh, they are so far away, so they have Ekasi on a different day. But when it cuts through your country, you feel, oh, really, this person is celebrating Vinayan Jati on that day, I should celebrate it on the other day. It's the same logic. So you have to sort of wake up to that and uh, apply it. It's, it's important to know this. And how does one compute such a map? This is interesting computation. This is where, uh, this is what I enjoy doing. Okay, so you have to actually compute the zero of a particular function and iterate it and things like that. You can make it as accurate as possible and make the resolution of the line better and so on. I'm not going to go into all of those uh, things right now, uh, uh, unless uh, somebody has a, a question. So here is where you can ask me questions and let me just see if there are any more questions that have come. Okay, so I don't see any more uh, questions. So I think I have just a few more minutes to go. I think we should have enough uh, uh, time for some more questions, please. So. Um, so I hope that question has, is now answered, right? So you have to follow your fest, the festival on, uh, yes, Pitrakaryam, same thing. Here you go. Including Shraddhatis, they change within the country. In fact, on nowadays, if you open the Panchanga on the last page, we publish a detail of about the 20, 30 days on which the Tithis change from Chennai, uh, uh, Delhi, Bombay, Calcutta, right? At least four metros, four corner, four rough corners, uh, approximate corners of the nation, uh, it is uh, published. So this is very important, right? And uh, this is why in the ancient days, in the olden days, there used to be a Panchanga Karta for a particular village and he will be honored and he will be doing all the calculations for that village. Within a village, this is likely not going to change. But now, given everything has changed so, so much, uh, we have large cities and we, you know, we follow our family Panchanga printed in Kanchipuram in Bombay. Well, why, why Bombay? We follow it in Canada and uh, where not, right? And uh, so it is important to uh, compute location-specific panchangas and I can help here. I'll uh, come to that a little later. I'm going to skip a few other uh, things. There is also this Mahalaya Paksha, which had this very interesting thing. There was a line that passed through Vijayawada or something like that. So people on the other side had 
process change of when it started, the number of uh, tarpanasthitis and all remain the same. And there are many other rare yogas and you can compute all of this in advance and uh, plan various things. So this there is this very famous Mahomadaya Punyakala. It next occurs only in 2029, not for another six years. And Nakshay Tritiya conjoined with Budhu Rohini uh, appears in 2025 and next time in 2052. You can imagine how rare some of these uh, things are and there is a lot of... Um, uh, you know, all these are like unique points in time where, you know, there is manifold uh, results for any small uh, acts you do and uh, so on. So, remember, you should use a Panchanga specific to your location. Shraditi can change 20 to 40 days a year. Ekadashi Vratam can also change. I've already shown you an example. Many time festivals in US will or in the West will be celebrated before the East. Counterintuitive, but I hope you have uh, uh, gotten that. And... Uh, Please do check out some of these or uh, write to me. I'll be able to give you this. I have a Twitter handle that posts details of festivals and uh, uh, things like that and also some Telegram channels. I'll, so just to summarize, our Panchanga is a beautiful and accurate custodian of our time and most importantly, our uh, Sampradaya and Sanatana Dharma. And there are five Angas, Tithi, Vara, Nakshatra, Yoga, Karanam. And just knowing this, every day gives you Ganga, Snana, Phalam. And um, I remember... Uh, in fact, exactly. There are many apps for Panchanga. I will, uh, I will try to. I, I, I mean, I can share links later on. And, uh, so remember the date as per Panchanga, not just Gregorian. It comes with practice, and let's all try to celebrate our birthday per our tradition, right? If you are from, uh, you know, one of these uh, Chandramana states, you know, do your celebrate your uh, Shravana, Shukla, Atami, or whatever is your birthday. Or if you are from uh, Tamil Nadu or other uh, you know, Sauramana states, you uh, celebrate Avani, Moolam or uh, whatever is the birthday. Right? And similarly, even for wedding day and things like that. This is Aspire Rishastram. And note to read your daily Panchanga and uh, let us uh, do Panchanga Patanam daily. And maximize the, our efforts by timing them well. Right? So whatever Anushthanas we do, it could be Sandhya, it could be some Japam, whatever. Or any, any, any small uh, prayers, doing them at the right time that is prescribed for these activities by our rishis will obviously give us a little bit more, uh, you know, phalam than uh, when we do it uh, uh, normally. Uh, so, uh, so there's a, uh, so a question. So, quick answer. Parardhe is basically second half of Brahm, Adya Brahmana Dutiya Parardhe. So, the second half of that, uh, the day of the current Brahma. The Brahma has finished. In fact, if you uh, look at the Mahasankalpam we said during Avani Avittam, would have said the whole thing, right? So, you know, everything would have said. So, what is the for Brahma, right? So, 50 years are over, and uh, it is in the second half of the first day of uh, uh, Brahma. That is where we are, this particular Manmantra and uh, Yuga. Okay. And uh, I usually give this advice to a lot of people, especially young students. I don't know how many of them listen to me, like, sink our circadian clock with the sun. Right. So, there is a good time to uh, wake up and uh, a good time to go to sleep. So, this is very uh, important and I would like to acknowledge a lot of people before I wind up. Uh, Brahmashri Sri Ramana Sharma from Nero, he is, uh, you know, taught me like almost everything I know related to Panchanga and uh, all the errors I in my talk are of course my own. And similarly, uh, Brahmashri Bharanidra Shastrikal has, you know, put a lot of effort in this Panchanga and, uh, you know, this various Anushthanas and has uh, taught me so many other things. Uh, Saket has helped me a lot with respect to collecting details on several festivals, which are there on this Adyatithi Telegram channel and also Stotra Samhita. And Vishwa is an amazing coder who has cleaned up my uh, you know, inefficient Panchanga Python codes over the years and made them far more optimal, far more scalable. It takes me 12 seconds to compute a beautiful PDF Panchanga for any location that you will give me. So I can help if somebody wants a location specific Panchanga, uh, please do write to me and uh, I can share these slides. And anyway, you can also go back to the talk on YouTube and look at these uh, links. There are some wonderful talks and wonderful uh, videos that are there. So with that, let me conclude. Uh, thank you all for your, uh, um, you know, for your attention. And I think uh, really interesting. So I'll just uh, try to say a few things. So yoga karana are, um, are very important because there are, uh, these have, uh, I'm just going to some of the questions. I think everybody can see the questions. If you, I can now keep this, I can keep this questions right here itself. Right. Uh, so, 
Yeah, so current advance in computer science should make all these computations easier, definitely. That's why, as I said, a novice like me can compute a fairly accurate, uh, very, very accurate Panchanga, in fact. And um, uh, so this Paradha I already said, let me see, I can, yeah, I can. This is done, this is done. Thank you for the comment. Uh, Bharat Varshya Bharat Kande is basically the continent and uh, various things, and uh, I'll not get into all of that right now. It's, it's more Desha and less Kala Panchanga. And this is done, this is done, this is done. Yes, there are apps. I'll try to share. There is a Nitya Panchanga app, I think, N-I-T-H-Y-A, which gives both Vakya and Grid computations if you want. Uh, I can share the link. I don't have the link offhand. Um, uh, so my social media handle is just Karthik Raman, uh, but uh, the, the Panchanga social media handle is, uh, is Dotra Samhita. Okay, so this uh, there has been a bug recently, but I'm fixing that. But this, you know, tells you so, so many things, right? There are so many festivals about which it uh, talks. Uh, for example, let me go to something a little bit uh, more. Uh, okay. So it says, you know, gives you lots of shlokas about how Shashti Vratam has to be performed and things like that. And so that's the social media handle. And uh, thank you. I also wish you know we can uh, talk again. So yoga karana is uh, karana is just a half the theme, right? And um, it more precisely specifies the point of time. That's all, right? So you because uh, you know, it's just narrowing down a little bit more, right? When you say just Tuesday, it's the whole day from sunrise to sunset, uh, so next sunrise. And then if you say, uh, uh, you know, Tichi, then it narrows it down. Yoga, Karana narrows it down a little more. I'm sure all these things are present for some point of time during the day. Uh, so, and I also compute a Panchanga like this for those who are interested. So you can actually see, and no abbreviations here. So you can just see, uh, let me just quickly go to today. Uh, and I can share this for any location you ask me, right? And so, so Chaturdashi is there till 4.49 tomorrow morning. Magha is there till 1.58 tonight. And the Dinanta happens at 1.34, I was telling you. And now Sayana has already started at 15.43. And our evening uh, Sandhya time starts at 5.19. And uh, sunset is at uh, 6.8. And uh, 6.55 is till when the Sandhya Kala persists. And so on. And today is some festival called Aghora Chaturdashi. And uh, particular Nayanar called Iliangudi Mara Nayanar uh, attained Mukti today. And, and it's a Master Shivaratri day and so on. So all these things can be uh, computed very easily. So, so I think with that, I'll close. Uh, uh, if there are any more questions, uh, please write to me. Uh, I can be reached on, uh, uh, so Karthik Raman is my Gmail ID as well. Uh, so please feel right to me or at uh, Stotra Samhita as well, which I use for more of these uh, Panchanga related things. So please uh, look at this on Twitter and you know I can... Please share any other feedback and um, yeah. Okay, I'll probably not, I'll note down the email. It will go on YouTube. So thank you. I think I'm a few minutes over and uh, thank you so much. Atyad Buddha Masi. Mahan Dhaniyavadaha. Although we are uh, intermingled in the flow of the fantastic lecture, considering the time limit, we are uh, here to end this session formally. It is said as um kalohi nama bhagavan swayam bhuhu anadi madhya nidanahatra rasavyapat sampatti jivita marane cha manushya nam ayate sa sukshma upi kalam na liyate iti kalaha tasya samvatsaratmanaha bhagavan aditya gati viseshena nimesha kashtha kala muhurta ho ratra paksha masa rutu ayana samvatsara yuga pravibhagam karoti iti susruta vachananugunam sarvadharosti kalaha Tasya Gyanam, Shanasaha, Tasya Avagamanamcha, Sarvesha, Matyanta Karyamas. Tatra Bharati Panchanke, Kiyantaha Vijnanika Vishaya Hasanti. Um, Ityarabi Alpe Eva Kalamche, Sarala Paddhya, Asman, uh, Etavata, Bodhita Vadya, Achari Vadya, Karthik Raman, Avariya Vadya, Asmaka, Natitati, Samapayamaha, Kinsa, Etadrisham, Advitiyam Avakasham Kalpita Vadya, Shastra Manita Vishavidya, Yasya. Kulati Pati Biaha, Kulapati Biaha, Sankaya Sankalpa Vikasana, Sankaya Promoke Biaha, Dean Planning and Development, Kula Sachive Biaha, Asmakam Sashe, Sankaya Promoka Biaha, 
ಪ್ರಾಚಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಶೋಧನಾ ವಿಭಾಗ ಪ್ರಾಚಾರ್ಯಭ್ಯ ಸಹ ಅಧ್ಯಾಪಕೇಭ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೇಭ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮಚಾರಿಯ ವಿಶಿಷ್ಯ ಸೂಚನಾ ಪ್ರೌದ್ಯೋಗಿಕೀ ಸಂಕಾಯ ಪ್ರಮುಖೇಭ್ಯ ಐ ಟಿ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಅಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಸಹ ಸಹಕೃತವದ್ಯ ಇತರೇಭ್ಯ ಶೈಕ್ಷಿಕ ಪ್ರಶಾಸನಿಕ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿಭ್ಯ ಕರ್ಮಚಾರಿಭ್ಯ ಹಾರ್ದಾನ್ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ಸಮರ್ಪಯಾಮ ಅಸ್ಮಕ ಕಾರ್ಯಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಭವಾದೃಶಾಂ ಶ್ರೋತೃನ ಅನಿಯೋಗೇನ ಕಾರ್ಸಜ್ಞ ಪಾತ್ರೀ ಕೂರ್ಮ ವಿ ಹೋಪ್ ಯು ಎಂಜಾಯ್ ದ ಲರ್ನ್ ಮೆನಿ ನೋನ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅನೋನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಮೀಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಅಪ್ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಪುನರ್ ಮಿಲಾಮ ಓಂ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭವಂತು ಸುಖಿ ಸರ್ವೇ ಸಂತು ನಿರಾಮಯ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭದ್ರಾಣಿ ಪಶ್ಯಂತು ಮಾ ಕಚಿತ್ ದುಃಖ ಭಾಗ್ ಭೇತ್ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಅಂಡ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವರ್ಧತಾಂ ಅಭಿವರ್ಧತಾಂ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ 